Coach, a grinded out game. No team could really get separation until that fourth quarter. You guys went on that 14-0 run. What changed? Yeah, and you know, credit to them that they've been playing really good basketball, and uh, we knew it would be a challenge. Uh, you know, Kuzma got going, but and then Porzingis hit hit some threes on us, and then the you know we fouled, which was a problem. But overall, I like the way we responded. I thought our defense was very good throughout. Um, and found a way to win. The rebounding was the big thing. They're, they, they obviously Gafford adds a lot to their team, uh, but they have wings that go hard to the board. And right size was a concern as well. Tom, I, I recognize that tonight you only went small in the last minute after Mitch fouled out, but you have done that for the, to close out two straight games now. Do you feel more comfortable with the way Julius is playing defensively, playing him? In yeah, the well, it depends on where we are in the game. And at the end of the game, are they going to uh, be fouling and that sort of thing? And then are we going? is there more shooting on the floor? Are we going to more switching? And so I like the flexibility that Julius does give us there. Um, and so we, you know, we have to – I think we're a lot better than we were, but we still have a lot of work to do with that. Really kind of took it into the paint a lot. I mean, I don't know what the total was, but uh, went to the rim hard. I yeah, think. and I thought we got some easy baskets too. I thought that that helped us. So the fast break points, getting the ball into the paint, you know, that 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 was big. Uh, and then you know we didn't we didn't shoot great, but I liked the way we attacked. We didn't make our free throws, but we we were attacking the rim. Yeah, I, I think, and, and you hit on it. I think the the game. There were a couple points in the game where it was six eight, where they had the lead, and he came right back and he brought the game back, where he didn't let it, let it get away. And then uh, just reading the game, it gives you. Uh, I always say the number one job of the point guard is control and manage the game. So what's going on in the game? Get us organized. Uh, and, and he's great at it, and he has a lot of poise. And you know, and I thought Julius played terrific. I, the, his rebounding, he had that huge block, you know, late in the game. That was a great, great play. And he's had a, a few of those. And like the last two or three games, he's had these monster blocks where he comes out of nowhere, uh, and uh, and that's that's big time. And so, and I thought uh, Mitch had a tough game with with the fouls. So. You know, we were fortunate there, but I thought Isaiah came in and really gave us good minutes, and so that, that was important. And then quick was quick. Julius with the block. He had, he had a stretch where he was really shooting the ball well, and maybe not as well now, but it seems like lately the effort has been. Yeah, and well, I think, and that, he's had a, a great season, and I think uh, the way he, the versatility of his game now. So it's not just, you know, like the where he's handling and going, it's a lot of different things. And I think that's hard to guard. And he's moving great without the ball. The more he moves, the more he separates, the more he runs the floor. He's great in the pick and roll. He's great when he handles. You know, just put the pressure on the defense. Create, And when he starts moving, it makes us move. You know, so I think that that, and it helps create rhythm for the team. And so we, we, we want him to continue to do that. Uh, I think... You know, RJ starting to get his rhythm back. We knew it would take a little bit of time for that to happen, but I think those guys are playing extremely well off of each other. The team's defense has been strong all season. Hold the Wizards to 39% shooting tonight. Is it something now, the belief within the team, that they just yeah. know they could fall back on their D every night? Yeah, and I think, you know, and we talked about it from the start of the season, and even though it, like we, we felt we could do a lot better, but all the markers from the beginning of the season were there. The, the field goal percentage, three-point percentage, points in the paint, uh, the rebound margin, that, that was there. for. So I knew, OK, we're, we're, that it's going to be our foundation. That, that was pretty clear. You know, it, and it's gotten better as the season's gone along, too. So I think the more time together for everyone, everyone understands there could, it's very difficult to guard guys individually in this league. So you need everyone tied together. We always say there's five guys guarding the ball. You know, and, and uh, if we do that and we keep the ball out of the paint, we know our chances of having success on a defense end are going to be good. 
And if we're not in rotation, we can get out and instead of a four-step closeout. It's now a two-step closeout, and it gives, gives us a chance to get a body on a body to rebound. So it's all the things. It's working together and then tying it to the offense. I thought if we can get stops, we can get out into the open floor, get some easy baskets, and, and that, that's important for us as well. When Julius gets double teamed, there are times where he'll get off the ball real quick and, and the ball moves well. And there are other times where it feels like he's kind of holding on to it, like waiting for the double team to come to get rid of it. In those moments when he's he's holding on a little longer than you might like, and the moments when he's recognizing, like what is what is he doing when it's going well that doesn't always translate? Yeah, like it, a lot of it is who's who's coming and where they coming from, and then sometimes just using that escape dribble to stretch the trap out. Right to give him space to get it out. Usually, those are the best plays. And he, you know, when he gets off it, and he he's he's done a good job of creating offense. Sometimes it's coming quick, and it, it's hard to say. Like you always like to look at the film to make sure that we're because we also have to read. Like how quick are they going on the flight of the ball? Are they going on the catch? Are they going on the dribble? Are they coming from the baseline? Are they coming from the top? Where are they coming from? And then are we in the right spots? So if we're cutting away and our back is to the play and he's getting doubled, now he's that puts him in a pickle. So everyone's got to get to their spots and everyone's got to trust that okay, if I'm supposed to flood the baseline, be there. So he knows he can stretch it out, you know, escape dribble, and then reverse pivot and hit the baseline. And then if we're supposed to have a cutter come through the elbow, know that that's your job. You got to get that done. And if you don't get it, you got to get back out. You got to respace the floor, so we can continue to play. So it's everyone. Yeah, it's no different than, you know, all aspects of the game. It's it's not just Julius being double teamed. It's the spacing around him. And same thing when Jalen gets double teamed in a pick and roll. Everyone has to read that, and we got to make sure he has three outlets so he can get off the ball quick. Quickly, quickly seems like he's your guy's director in transition defense. Like he's out there. He's he's pointing. You get this guy. You get this guy. He's seeing the floor. Is that? Is that a role that's assigned to him, or does he just well, take that? Well, it's a role that's assigned to the whole team. So, but I'll make sure I point it out that you're pointing out. I said it's not really me; it's cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but we, no, no, and I, I'm serious about that. So we always say, well, the first thing we want to do is protect the basket. You know, and so and and everyone, you don't have a man in transition. Protect the basket, find the ball, and then everyone's got to point and talk. So you, know, you might be saying, "My man, my ball," so we don't get two running to one and leave a guy wide open. Uh, you know, we had one situation where, you know, we let we left uh, Kispert wide open on a weak side. That shouldn't happen, right? So if it's everyone communicating, and, and look, you can't have a you, you can't have a great defense unless there's a lot of talk and it has to be loud talk you know that ties everyone together it gives you a head start on what's coming what what everyone needs to do so uh sometimes we're great at it sometimes we're not as great as we need to be but if we want to have a great defense we're, we we got to get that done